Hey guys, welcome to Star Morph where we talk about artificial intelligence and web development. Today I have a really cool demo to show you that we're going to send a Gmail, an email that's written by GPT-3 and sent through this new LangChain Zapier integration that just came out two days ago. And this is actually mind blowing. I couldn't believe that it actually sent the email and wrote it all out for me because now we can use these chatbots to perform actions on all the apps that Zapier connects with. So this is extremely powerful. Let's jump right into it and I'm gonna show you what we can do and then we're gonna discuss all the code and, and how it works. And I also created a, a GitHub repo that has all the code. So this is pretty much working right now and you just have to add your config file in there and you'll be good to go and be able to do this as well. So let's dive into it. As you can see here, we have the task running, a lane chain task, send an email to me at Gmail, and then I describe it. It's a pitch for why you should visit Starmorph to get help with GPT services for your business. So we can go ahead in our Jupyter library here, and we can run all the cells. And as you can see right now, I don't have any new emails. And now we see the agent is crafting the email. And I just got a notification. Boom, we just got an email written with GPT-3. It has a link to my website in it. It sent it to me, but I could have AI, you know, determine who that's sent to uh, on an email list or whatever. And that's just Gmail. I mean, we could do this with Slack. We could do this with LinkedIn. We could do this with any of the 5,000 apps that Zapier has available. You can create a Google Sheet now with GPT-3. Facebook integration. So this is really limitless. It's so easy to set up. I mean, there's like 10 lines of code here. I'm going to give them all to you. So this is super exciting. I'm excited to see what everyone builds. They, this is going to take GPT bots to the next level because now they can interact with all of these services. So anyway, enough hype about it. Let's talk about what exactly is happening here and then how can you get this set up. So uh, first I'll start with explaining and then then you'll understand easier how to set up after we go through what's happening here. So we're using really three tools here. We're using OpenAI's uh, GPT completion. We're using LangChain, which is helping us interact with the OpenAI API. And we're using Zapier's new natural language API that they just released. Natural language actions. This is the website here where you can request API access and you should get it pretty much immediately. At least I got it the same day. Um, so this is the API that we're, we're working with. And so first we're just loading in all of the libraries that we need. We need OpenAI, we need LangChain agents, we need the Zapier integration built into LangChain. I'm also using this library .env and that allows us to import our API keys without me statically coding it in here so everyone uh, can use my API key. And then we are setting up uh, the configuration of the LangChain agent and the LangChain integration. And then we can go ahead and call our agent task and give it a description in natural language, agent.run. And that's where we type in the description to write the email. And this is all in a Jupyter notebook file, which is like an interactive um, Python um, notebook. And I'll leave a link to how you can get set up with Jupyter. It's super easy. You just run this in your terminal, and then you can run the Jupyter lab command, and it will launch this here. And I'm also going to provide you this file to start with. Um, so that's pretty basically ha pretty basic how this small amount of code is able to call this. Let's look at it a little more from the Zapier side of things. So now that I'm in the API, uh, we can go ahead and manage our actions. And you do need to create one action through their UI in order to get, I think, your project ID to make this work. So make sure that you get your API access. Uh, you need, need to get your API key on the last step there and then you wanna add in a new action. And let's just go through another action here just to demonstrate more. So instead of Gmail, let's do a, let's do a new Gmail because I already have my Gmail um, hooked up to it. So that's gonna be simplest. We'll send a new email. We choose the account. And my account's already connected to Zapier. Okay, 
Now, this is very interesting. You can have AI guess these different forms based on the prompt, the natural language that we give it in the notebook. But I want to send this specifically again to me. So just for testing purposes, subject have AI guess, body have AI guess. So this is basically how I set up my last action. You click enable action. And now we can call that from the Jupyter notebook that we have set up. So um, there's really not that much more to it. You're just going to put in this configuration in this basic code and you'll be able to interact with um, all of Zapier's apps using natural language. And most of this config code comes from the documentation on Langchain. This is their quick start guide as well as the Zapier API uh, setup guide. And like I said, I'm going to put this all in this GitHub repo. It will be in the description. It has the Jupyter library here. And it also has a readme telling you what you need to install, what the steps are to get this running, and some resources in case you run into any issues. So I'm going to keep this one quick, but I hope you guys are with me on how exciting this is because it's really going to increase the functionality of these GPT bots. So very excited to see. I'm sure all of the amazing engineers out there that are uh, keeping in touch with all of these new developments are going to have stuff out tomorrow because that's how fast it's going. So very excited about this. Thank you for watching the video. Leave any questions or um, if you need help with this, reach out to us in the description. I'll leave a link to book a free call with us. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.